Welcome back to Let's Play Terra Enigma. We're about to take on probably the hardest boss fight in the game. So, um, I will equip the white rods. I think it helps a little bit, despite the fact that its powers um, a lot less. I'm pretty sure that it helps. So, you want anything that you can, anything that will help you in this boss fight. I highly recommend doing everything possible because this is hard. Um, but before we do the boss fight, we have this little, um, little creepy game. Round and round we go. The watchers in the bush we go round. When, oh when, will the watcher rise? At the dawning of the long night time. When the early bird does take flight, <coughs> who's in the eyes of the one behind? Now what you have to do in this game, when they stop rotating around you, you attack the one behind. Behind you, it's always the one behind you, they'll always be the correct one. See, it was real. Um, so, yes, yeah, it's just, you just have to do that three times and you're good. And now we see this is sort of like the dungeon area once again. And we have the lone prisoner here. If you will remember, um, uh, someone was imprisoned in this place. That was fake. So when it's fake, they attack you. The reason why it wasn't that one there was because um, when, you, when you have Ark standing there for long enough, um, he turns back to the front, that's why I messed up. But just to show you, that's what happens if you get it wrong. I hope they stop rotating, like now. Now you can talk to Columbus, but she can't actually talk to him yet. He's a lone prisoner, he looks pretty depressed. From somewhere, a crystal clear voice called out, Welcome to my room. You will enjoy a dreamlike time. Enjoy playing with my adorable children. Now this is an interesting thing because you can actually run the full length and attack this person before you even need to stop. But the idea of this game is when they say stop, it's like the children's game where um, you're allowed to move when they say stop. Say like that. And ah, Bijou moved. And they take you back to the start. So that's the idea of this. It looks pretty freaky, don't it? But just to show you, you can actually make it all the way from the start without even... Boom! Ouch, ouch! Mommy, help! Bijou is mean! So after this um, phase, you fight the real boss, Bloody Mary, the Queen of Silver and Tower, or Castle, I should say. Now this is a hard boss fight, extremely hard. Oh, lucky I'm um, over leveled. If you do the um, if you do the infinite dash like I was doing then, it makes it a lot easier. She has about 500 HP. I'm doing quite a considerable amount of damage to her actually. But for people at about honestly, it's really easy to be about level 21 for this fight. Um, and you'll probably only be doing about 2 damage to her. Like, I'm not even joking. I made that look so ridiculously easy right there. Defeated Bloody Mary. Now, I make that look pathetically easy because I'm way over leveled. But seriously, like, you could probably get up to Bloody Mary at even level maybe 18. And you will do nothing. Absolutely no damage to her. And she has 500 HP. She is very, very hard. Um, I probably shouldn't have leveled up as much as I did to make that fight look as hard as it was. Um, but that is a very hard boss fight, so make sure you are a very high level for that. The Queen's Vengeance was lifted from the castle, and if you remember the Vengeance was because her three princes died um, on Columbus's voyage, and she never was the same again after that. Now we can finally talk to Columbus. Uh, 
<laughs> what have I been doing? Days of torture. In a short slumber, had I been dreaming an endless dream? I am Columbus, an explorer and navigator. Why did you risk danger to come rescue me? Well... It just happened this way. Rescuing people feels good. Columbus, can I ask you a question? Why were you being tortured here? Isn't torture just a punishment of crime? People probably believe this. I was unjustly jailed. Because the three silver and princes died on my voyage. But that isn't the truth. Perhaps I accepted torture for returning my own human greed. Blue East King, Silver and Queen, those in power are always the same. I'm sorry, but I cannot tell even you the real reason. When the true hero is born, I plan to reveal my secret. That's not for a long time yet, but it'll come, don't worry. Just for now. Just for now, except that we've saved Christopher Columbus, the, the navigator, explorer, and supreme genius of this world. Well, one of the geniuses of this world. When we finally discovered a new continent, I became convinced, wherever we may live, we are all red-bellied human beings. Hello, Rod. What? Yes, it is. We all laugh, we all cry, we're all the same. As one family of humans, we should cross borders in friendship. So, I intend to widely pass on my knowledge of navigation. Now, let's get back to Litz. Sounds like a good idea to me. Hmm? No, it does, I think. No, no, that was the yellow microphone. <clears throat> I taught all the sailors here my navigation techniques. I'm sure they'll make your wishes come true. I'm tired. I want to get some sleep. So yeah, we're at the hospital. Obviously, Columbus is extremely drained after all that, all what went on. It seems Columbus is both physically and mentally exhausted. I'll make him rest in my hospital for a while. A long time. Nice. Looks pretty good, Ryan. Okay, yeah. Just before I... Um, I just unlocked the ships. Like, the sailing of the ships you can do now. Because um, we saved the genius Columbus. Now we can navigate the waters by using boat. Um, but I just want to check something. Just quickly. Because this should be... Why? Why is it not... I just have to talk to people for a bit. Hey, I didn't want to talk to you. Countrymen, as you know, the king no longer rules us. Without a ruler, we have gained an unalienable right to freedom. The time has come for all of us to move this country. The country. I hereby declare my candidacy for the representative of the people. Naturally, anyone can become a candidate. Anyone else? I declare my candidacy also. I don't know why I gave him that voice, but I did. I'm not smart, but I love this village and country. I can help. Thank you, Lewis. You must now choose your representative. I would like to hold an election to determine your intentions. I would like to call for a recess to prepare for the election. We ask that you evaluate the candidates carefully before you vote. By evaluate carefully, what he means is either ask him, ask Ken's. Um, it's the future of the town, Simon, who's like it. If the conservative Lewis wins, the town will remain unchanged. If the progressive Jim becomes later, growth can be expected. When casting your invaluable vote, you should weigh the consequences. So, yeah, you'll want to vote for um, Gene. The one you need to vote for. The bloke with the glasses who called the election. You definitely want to vote for him. So now we've got the voting polls. Uh, wait, no, where's the voting polls? Ah, oh, here they are. 
And just to make sure I don't mess up. Just in case. So you can cast your vote, and your vote weighs whichever person you vote for your vote, because other than your vote, it's completely even. So you get the deciding vote, basically. I'm voting for Gene. He looks well prepared and dependable. make a record of your tail. What they were saying was you should save it before voting, which is what I did. Anyway, I have to pause it now, so we'll see who won the election next time. See you then.